This video will cover installation of the PeopleNet power connections in Volvo VN vehicles. For a printable PDF version, please visit the PeopleNet Online Support Center, search on the word Volvo, and you'll see the list of the available documents. This installation will require two Peterbilt power adapters. These can be purchased from any Peterbilt dealership. Uh, part number is 16-09171. These connectors are a little pricey at about $10 a piece, but they're strongly recommended because they have locks on them that will hold our connections in place. A normal spade connector uh, would fit into the position, but with nothing holding it there, it can vibrate out, uh, cause intermittent issues. So in our experience, it's well worth purchasing these. To access the fuse panel, we'll remove the two screws beneath the cup holder in the center of the dash. These are T25 Torx heads. Then push up on the panel. I'll release a few clips around the edges that are holding it in place. And then set that panel aside. Here we have a power assembly that's been spliced to those Peterbilt connectors. On one connector we're going to splice red to red and black to black. That'll be our power connection. On the other we'll just splice the white wire to one of the red leads. That'll be our ignition sense. Alright, then those connectors we're going to plug into the spare points. They're uh, up on the fuse panel uh, windshield side to the right. The left three spare ports are constant power. The right three are ignition sense. And the pins closest to the windshield are where we're going to get our power and our ignition sense. The pins farther away from the windshield are all ground all the way across. So in this case, none of the spaces were occupied, so I plugged my power into the far left and my ignition sense into the fourth from the left, so that's the first ignition port. Uh, if there are others occupied, you can grab any of those three ports for power, three ports for ignition. Then we're going to go ahead and fuse it. Uh, look at the fuse map on the underside of the fuse panel cover. You'll see the three battery options at the top and the three ignition options at the bottom and they'll indicate which fuse positions to go to. So in this case I've connected to B1-1 for power so my fuse will be F11. I'll give that a, a 10 amp or a 15 amp and then the ignition sense will be B1-4 in fuse position F31. Now, of course, the power and ground connections will be confirmed by virtue of the device powering up, but we also want to confirm that the ignition is working. So once the activation is complete, on the display, navigate to System, OBC Diagnostic, Diagnostic Device. You'll see an ignition line. We want to confirm that with the key on, that reads on. When the key is off, it reads off. And when the key is in accessory, it remains off. If you have any issues or concerns, please contact PeopleNet Technical Support at 888-346-3486, extension 1.